it's me again, Shauna. The soap we're about to make together is going to include coconut milk, that's the powder, kale and clay, powdered sugar, blue and green pearl mica, a mystery sitting inside a silicone mold that was given to me by Renee, another mystery that's covered in activated charcoal, soap shreds, and our fragrance today will be sweet grass and violet, top notes of bergamot and grass, middle notes of sage, lavender, and cucumber, base of oak moss and violet. It smells like outside. It smells like fresh cut grass. Yes, it smells like summer. It's good, I like it. I'm curious how it's going to behave in soap. I'm curious how the smell will stay. So if this intro of my ingredients was riveting enough, let's go make this soap. In this bowl, we've already got our hard oils melted. Let's add our soft oils of olive oil, canola oil, and castor oil, and our lye water, which does have some tuss of silk in it that is melted. And we'll do a little bit of stick blend in here. Now I'm not gonna add my fragrance yet because I read that it has moderate acceleration and just look at uh, how pink it is. All that other stuff you're seeing in there is what you saw at the beginning of the video. We've got our coconut milk powder in there, our powdered sugar and our kale and clay, as well as some sodium lactate. It also will discolor to a light tan, they say. So I decided I'm going to add that to each individual color because I do have a design plan for this and I would like to get it done correctly. Let's see if this is gonna be enough. See if we need any more green mica in here. Oh, that looks pretty green enough to me. Yeah, that looks good enough. And in here we'll add, I'll say that much. In here, throw in our blue mica. Beautiful blue. Oh my goodness. I also read that the fragrance oil has slight separation, so it's got a little a little mark on every ailment, <laughs> except for rising. Okay, we're gonna stick blend this blue a little bit. Now we're gonna add our fragrance oil to this, this green part first. We'll add that much for now and see what happens. And this will be our bottom layer. And now our mystery embed, it's in four pieces. And then one more mystery embed. All right, that's done. Now, my batter is already kind of thick, so it makes me kind of nervous. So I think I'm gonna add all the fragrance to this and then not add any to my white and then do an in the pot swirl. And hopefully that will be safe. We're gonna do a little thing there. And then pour it in. And we've got a little bit of white that I'm going to put on the top here. Now we'll do a little little something here. Now it's time to find out what these mystery embeds were. Flowers. And I have two of them. Like I said, 
Renee gave me these with her generous heart. And this is my first time using them. Aren't those pretty? These are going to be flower shaped sunshines. Because this is going to go on top of my cloudy sky. And I think a little glitter is in store. Slice of the moon. And now we cut the soap. Yes, let's cut the soap. Pretty. But I like how this blue is looking, the blue and white. Let's see if the very end we can get the, the embed to show up. Feels like it. I feel it in there. There we go. Oh, we have an air hole, but it's a Scottish Terrier playing ball outside. That one's pretty good. So these Scotties are made with black walnut hull and coffee. I made these back during that video because it was leftover batter. Looks nice. I'm wondering how much this is gonna discolor. I am happy with it. I'm happy with how the grass looks. I'm happy with how my Scotty looks. I'm um, slightly concerned about how much discoloration will happen. And I like how this looks up here. It does kind of look like the sunshine up there. But as you see, it's these pretty little flowers. I'm gonna give one of these to my mother. So typically when you see Scotties, they're black, but there's the Wheaton Scotties, and this is what the Scotty is, is a Wheaton. Whoa, look at this Scotty. He, I'm pretty sure he is a, you know how I had four pieces of Scottish Terrier embeds. Pretty sure he's a, a one of the pieces. And we have a big hole here. This was a rough bar. And the next one looks even rougher. Should I cut that off? I think I'm gonna cut that off. And have a nice full bar. Alrighty, our final cut here. Got some air holes to fill in, air pockets. So I'll trim up the sides and fill in these holes. So it has been about a week since we made our cute little bars. I think I'm gonna call it fetch because we're playing ball here. So I looked at the fragrance of sweet grass and violet and it has been discontinued. So you won't even get to try out this fragrance if you were interested in that. Also, I wanted to share that there has not been any tan discoloration. If it is there, it is very light. This is, the blue is blue, the white is white, and the green is green. Here's our stamp, by the way, put it on the side there. Also, I wanted to share that the fragrance no longer smells of just grass, because when you smell it out of the bottle, it just smelled like grass, that you just cut grass. 
the violet has definitely come out. So it smells like a fresh summer day and somebody just got done mowing, but you're hanging out by the violet garden. It's a very, very summer, clean, kind of flowery, fresh soap smell. <laughs> and that's my description. And it's discontinued. So this is a special bar. If I made this design again, which I probably will because it was super cute and I really like that. Um, no more sweet grass and violet. It'll have to be some other, probably another like outdoor fragrance, like a flower or a, or a fruit. So, so thank you for watching my little soap video. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Your company means more to me than I can even tell you because English doesn't have those words. Looking forward to seeing what we're going to make next time. It's a mystery to me as well.